it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another of your Bradley haul. This one's a small one, just three items, and here goes. The first item I got is um, from eBay, actually, but it's new with tags, and it's one of my favorites in both pattern and style, and that is the Cosmetic Trio in Midnight Blues. Um, I found one that was, it was all wrapped up in the ribbon, it was, it was brand new, so obviously it's not new new because the pattern retired a long time ago, but you get what I'm saying. Anyways, it was a decent price and it arrived even earlier than expected, so that's always good. So another successful eBay adventure, rare but wonderful. Okay, so this is the three pieces. You got the small one that's about the size of a coin purse and you just get the pretty pattern. And this is actually nice snippets. You got all the different colors on there. And then the middle piece is actually the interior pattern of the Midnight Blues, which is really nice. I like having that variety where you can coordinate. It doesn't always have to be matchy-matchy. Sometimes mixy-matchy or coordinating is, is wonderful. And then the big piece is there. And this one has a metal tag that's sewn on. It's engraved, you know, in a printed Vera Bradley. I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but anyway, inside of each of these, they're all the same. And the inside is a white, it's not plastic. It's more like a wipeable nylon inside. So it's not just a straight fabric. Although you can kind of see there's the interior pattern there. So that's kind of a nice touch. So let me see on the small one the same. Yeah, I didn't actually check the patterns. I just saw the white, but. Ah, and interestingly enough, the inside has the outside on the inside. <laughs> So, cool. So they're all reverse of each other. Anyways, three sizes, and there you go. Cosmetic trios are one of my favorites. All right. Now, these next two items are the Pat Miller collection. This is a limited, limited edition, and it is available online only, which is kind of obvious because all the stores are closed. But I think that the point there is you can't get it at any of their other retailers or whatnot. So it's online only. And each of the Millers has a quote in it. I did look online. Um, there wasn't much about it. I'll tell you what mine says, but the four quotes that pop up on like the blog, it's not a blog, it was in the email. Anyway, the four quotes of Pat Miller's quotes, one was be curious, one is don't be afraid to fail, have fun, and ask questions every day. So those are the four quotes I don't know if they all have the same quote inside of the bag, or if it's one of those four, or maybe some other variation. That I can't answer because I have only one, but um, this is a Miller travel bag, and it is in Saguaro Icat. And that is um, a tribute to Pat Miller. One of our favorite places is the American Southwest. So it is a tribute to that. I've heard other people say, well, it's a, it's a different, um, cultural pattern the eye cat and whatnot you know it doesn't matter you either like it or you don't really it's not it's just a name um, I do see where these little pitchfork looking things could potentially be saguaros maybe um, actually the pattern itself looks a lot like just um, not a lot like reminiscent to me of like the bramble vines interior um, it has like those spade shape things in blue black and white so i'm wondering if that would match well with this haven't checked should have done that before the video sorry but anyway so it's a miller travel bag let's look at the bag itself we've got a beautiful big tote style bag on the back well we have some extra tags let's see what it says classic never goes out of style a forever favorite the miller bag became an instant classic for its roomy silhouette and thoughtful details this limited edition style honors our co-founder Patricia R. Miller with an exclusive Saguaro iCat print inspired by her favorite travel de destination, the American Southwest, Fair Bradley. Interesting little tag with the pattern on it too. So that's kind of cool. There are tags all over this thing. There's more tags over here for, for Performance 12. <laughs> the retail tag, anyways. Okay, so on the back, we have this big slip pocket and it's the kind of pocket that unzips on the bottom to become the trolley sleeve. So that's nice that you have that built in there. Oh, I got a cable, I'm gonna have to trim off a little string. That happens, it's sewing. Okay, then on the front, you have another big slip, but you also have a zip pocket. 
And in the zip is just this nice interior pattern. But in the slip, there's an additional pocket. So right there, you have this little pocket, which is, I guess, your cell phone pocket. So let's see. Here's my phone. And, yep, it does fit in there. It sticks up just a tad over the top of that pocket, but it's inside the big pocket. So easily accessible, and it's not going to bop around. Easy in and easy out. So that's kind of nice. And that's it for the outside, really. The bottom, it does not have feet. It's not... It almost feels like there's a ever so slight, there's something in between the fabric. So it's not a rigid bottom. It's not even a semi-rigid bottom. It's like thinking about being semi-rigid bottom. I mean, it's just ever so faint, but it feels like, I don't know if it's just the facing between the fabrics or whatever. It's kind of kinked up inside, which is actually kind of annoying. So anyway. Laying it flat, this one did come folded across the middle of the bottom, which is okay, except that now it's wreaking havoc with that, whatever that liner thing is, it's kinked up. Ugh, there, this is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to fold this differently, I think. All right, anyways, either that internal thing doesn't fit or it's like inside it's forming like the V and it's just rippling. It's not going to lay flat, flat. I think it'll be fine when it's loaded, but... Nice strapped up on the bag, like I said, it's a, it's a nice big roomy travel bag, which is great. It is TSA compliant, which is nice. On top, you have the zipper that goes all the way across the top, closure. And then inside, you have six slip pockets, and this is one of the reasons it's so popular. Such great organization inside. You have one, two, three on each side. So you can see that both ways. <laughs> So nice to look inside, six big slip pockets. And you can see what I'm talking about with that liner thing is, it's not the liners, whatever's in there to give it some structures. Man, I might have to cut that thing out. That is really annoying. Okay, but it's a beautiful bag. And the other thing about this bag is, like I said, there's a quote inside and it's embroidered on a tag which is sewn on the pocket there. Be curious always, Pat Miller. That's a really nice touch, and it looks like really quality material. This is, um, I don't want to say nylon, it's not like a true nylon, but it is, it's like a nylon-y sort of interior fabric. I think it's pretty robust, maybe a little bit wipeable. It's not cotton, obviously. But anyway, so there you go. It's a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And I do think it looks much better in person just because it's more vivid. I don't know if that's coming across here, but it is vivid. And I do love blues. It's not purple, but it's blue, which is a really close second. So anyways, that is the Miller travel bag. The other piece I got, which there's only two pieces in the collection, and this is the travel cosmetic bag. It comes all squished down, unfortunately, but stand it up. It is a, you know, one of the big cosmetic type organizers. I have it unzipped because we're going to look at the inside, but if you can tell, it is a square, almost square. I mean, it's more square than, it's not oval like I expected it from the pictures. I thought it was going to be oval, like the Home and Away Travel Cosmetic, and it's not. It's also not rectangle like the Brush Up or Blush and Brush, so there's some differences. But I love it for what it is, actually. I, I've been wanting a performance twill. Um, cosmetic big cosmetic like this and if you watched like my last haul video I just got like days before this came out like literally like two days I got a black performance twill brush up case and the sad part about that I mean that is a great bag I love it I will use it I'm keeping it and all that stuff but the sad part is it has that top compartment that I'm like yeah whatever this is the style that I really like so I'm really happy and I had to get it but let's compare after we look at the inside, we'll compare with some of the other cosmetic styles that are in this class. All right, first of all, you have a handle on the top. It is performance twill, like a double layered, so it's just robust. It's not adjustable at all, it just is sewn on, but there you go. You open it up, and in the top, you have a zipper area, so you can put some things up in here, and it actually is a pretty roomy pocket based on experience from the home and away, which we'll look at. Then in the bottom, you have 
Inside, you have eight slip pockets all the way around the square, all the way around, which is nice. The only thing is, they're not elastic on the top at all, so anything you put in there is, is I don't know. I don't think it's a bad thing, but like my home in a way has elastic, which you'll see on the top of them. So I don't know what why they decided not to do that, but eh, that's okay. And it says made in Vietnam. Yeah, all right. See you, love you. All right, but there you go. It's actually a pretty simple bag, but it's one of my one of my favorites. It just they hold a lot, and they're just a great size. So let's put this one aside for a moment. And let's look at the home and away. This one uh, is in my original pattern. This was in my original surge way back in 2012, 2013. And this is in Midnight Blues. This is a home and away travel cosmetic. See how it's oval shaped? Maybe you can see it better on the bottom, I don't know. But you can hear, like this is where I keep my pill bottles, vitamins, supplements, medications, whatever. And it just has a handle. The handle on this one is a little bit more, it's got a little adjustability to it. It just has this thing with these tabs so it doesn't pull through. But, but there you go. And because it gives, which is what I like about these, this one included, is, you know, they, they can pack into things and kind of mush around a little to, I don't know, it works really well. All right, so let's look at this one. Double zip. Is this one a double zip? Yes, thankfully. All right, so double zip, you open it up, there's your top compartment, just like I was showing. And I actually have like a box of the um, bubble peel things in there, so it can fit that easily up on top. And then inside, there you go. You got all these medications and stuff. I use my every little thing case. I have an inhaler in there. I got, I had a, I was sick last year, but anyway, I kept an extra inhaler, so it's in there. And that way, it doesn't get accidentally activated, which is great. Anyway. Okay, so instead of digging into this one further because it does have stuff in it, I brought out my other one. I only have two. And so I brought out the other one, which is in Canyon. So I've used it, but maybe just once, but you can see the inside better. So you can see this has that same white nylon wipeable. It's not actually plastic. So it has a little more give to it, but you have nice space up there. And then down around the bottom, let's count them real quick. I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have this one little straight pocket on the back. And then these ones, you can see they have a little bit of elastic in them. They're not tight up against the edge, but they have a little elastic in them. So they're not just hanging out in like this one. See the difference? They kind of tuck up against the side a little bit. I don't think that's gonna matter. I hope, but anyways, it's just a light elastic. And the inside, like I said, is that wipeable stuff in the oval shape. Size-wise though, this one is definitely bigger. I mean, if you look at the total size, they're about the same width, but like if you were to look at the height of it, well, the height is roughly the same. I think we'll check that in a sec, but. So width-wise, they're about the same. This overage is just the folding of the bag itself, but width-wise, they're the same. But this one is good, almost two inches taller. And then if you look at the height, this one has stuff in it, and this one doesn't, but I would say pretty comparable, but this is a little taller because that's even without give, and this is already pooched up a little bit, so fewer. This one's bigger. All right. So that's the Home and Away Travel Cosmetic, one of my all-time favorites, and I think I forgot to put it in the best of video, which is a big mistake, but anyway, <laughs> it belongs there for sure. Um, so let's compare again to another different bag in the same category, and that's the Brush Up Case. We saw this the other day in the Black Performance Twill, but here it is again. This is Lilac Medallion, so it's a cotton version, but same thing. Okay, so it has two compartments. You have the big main compartment, and then you have the upper, literally the brush up compartment, and that's in the top. So you have a mesh pocket, and you have your brushes. And that just has a little cover thing. Obviously, I haven't used this one. <laughs> Funny, I have too many things, but here we go. So the top is a single zip, the bottom is a double zip. Mesh pocket on the bottom, mesh pocket there two mesh pockets on the front, 
and that's it. So it's a little simpler, but very comparable. So let's look at the size, again, compared to this one. So edge to edge, all right. The brush up is about, about an inch wider, and the Travel Cosmetic is about an inch wider, or deeper, whatever. The height of them is roughly the same, although difficult to tell because they're both squishy, they're the same. So, height, width, weight, depth, whatever. You got the idea. Okay, the next one is the Large Blush and Brush. Now, this is comparable in size to the Brush Up, but it's a different configuration. It stands this way instead of this way. So we won't go into deep, deep comparison because it is different, but similar. So there's your brush compartment, and then your other compartment has pockets. You have two big mesh slips on each side, and it's all plasticized inside. This one's in Concerto. But just in the same category of things. I prefer the ones that are oriented this way versus that way in this style not always but in this style okay so here's another one this is another brush up it's the same as the brush up we saw in lilac medallion except that it is in lighten up and this is kiev paisley it's a beautiful pattern you can see that i'm actually using it for something so let's take a look i that's what i like about these bags i also have a clear version just like this that I used to store things like under my sink where even if it got wet down there, it's protected and it's clear so I can see inside. Those are great. I didn't bring it out because it's the same. It's just clear. Um, but in this one, the top compartment here, since I'm not using it for brushes and I'm not even using it for makeup, I decided to make it a craft kit. So I have my crocheting hooks in there all stacked in. And then up here I have some it's not much, but it's these little yarn needles so that I can do some work with things that I'm making, whatever. It's a, it's a craft kit. And then down in the bottom, which is a double zip, I just have them both zipped to the corner to kind of keep these roughly in there. I don't know how to knit yet, by the way, but I intend to learn, <laughs> hence the needles. I have just one pair, and of course they're purple. I thought they were a good medium size to work with number 11 and there's some extra yarn I was working on a project a while back and then I have other things I've got my needle keepers probably be useful to put those on the needles right now I have a cross stitch project that I haven't opened live simply love truly laugh freely that'd be a good one I should probably do that hmm yeah soon then I've got a couple of do-it-yourself teach yourself books so crocheting baskets, I thought that would be kind of fun. Something useful and very giftable. Stitch guide for crocheting to do different stitches because so far I just single stitch everything. So it's a really dense pattern. And learn to knit. Yeah, I need to do that. Have a whole bag of yarn in the back, I'm ready. But in the meantime, it's just a craft bag. <laughs> I say just, that's a good thing. So, ta-da! Brush up, lighten up, key of paisley. So that is your broader look at the Travel Cosmetics, but I am very excited about this new one. I'm just loving these blues, the, the, the variations of blue. I know it's a singular palette, if you will, blue, black, blue. It's just blue, navy, royal, baby, and white. So one, two, three, blues. It's nice, it's simple, but yet interesting. And it's very geometric, so you can't get a bad placement. Anyway, thanks for watching. There'll be two more videos to follow. You'll just have to watch and see what they are. But they're not haul videos, although I do have more stuff coming. So take care. Bye for now. Stay safe. Washy washy.